Bananana. 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 <laughs> Creepy and kooky, mysterious and spooky, it is the season for all things Halloween. And what better way than to bring in a Halloween show to the Sierra Vista Community Theater than doing the Adams Family the musical. Look at this big old sign right here on the chalkboard, uh, directed by Ethan. I don't know if he's here, but we are here to check in with the cast, with the crew, and to talk about this show that starts tomorrow night. Oh my gosh, tomorrow night would be the 25th, and it goes all the way to November 10th. I've heard that this opening weekend is just about sold out, so you got to get your tickets while you can, and that's all in the post description. But we'll stop right here to talk to these lovely people uh, who are who are very familiar faces to anybody here at the Sierra Vista Community Theater inside the mall at Sierra Vista. Sure. What, you're going to go over there? Yeah. You're going to stand next to each other here? Oh, all right. Okay. That's, that's fine. You know, it's all... Uh, let's let's uh, go, go ahead and introduce yourself, Jason. I am Jason Cabrera. I am uh, the president of the board of directors here at the Sierra Vista Community Theater, but I also, as you can see, play Gomez in the show. Gomez... Adams. Adams. Uh, uh, that. <laughs> Gomez Florencia Adams. See, yes, exactly. And uh, Kiri, uh, introduce yourself to everybody. Um, I'm Kiri Miller. I am the youth uh, director. artistic director <laughs> at the theater. Um, and then I am also in the show. I don't think people will recognize me, though. Unless they went on the website and already saw the thing. Oh, well, that's what that, the website is in the post description, so you can get a sneak peek of what Curie will be dressed as. Let's talk about this show. It's been a year in the making uh, to do something like this mm -hmm. and to do a musical version of The Addams Family. Obviously, music was a big part of The Addams Family, uh, the TV show, mm -hmm. and some of the other movies, the subsequent movies. We all remember MC Hammer's contribution yeah. uh, yep. all those years ago. Uh, uh, and uh, I can do the whole rap. I love, I love that. <laughs> is, is, is that going to be a part of this show? It is not. Oh, <laughs> man. So many, so many Hammer's. Hammer fans are disappointed right now, but, but let, let's talk about being able to incorporate the musical aspect of the Adams Family into this show. Tell us about where the show comes from and uh, how exciting it is to be a part of. It. Well, um, this was a, this was a Broadway show. Um, it was uh, Nathan Lane was actually uh, the headliner for it, and uh, it was a phenomenal show. The music is fun. Uh, it, that's and that's I think the word fun. Adam's family was fun. It always was fun. Every iteration of every Adam's family you've ever seen is always about how fun they are and how happy they are in their weirdness. And that's the thing is that when you do Adam's family, you must embrace the weirdness, embrace the dark and all that stuff and still find that. And maybe not still because of that, you find the power of these relationships. You know, the parents are good parents, despite the fact that they, they hand very sharp objects to their children and let them execute, you know, uh, electrocute each other and all that kind of fun stuff. They're good parents and, and they care about their, their children. And I think that's really, for me, the core of the show. Like, it, it's that, that, that Adam's family feel. It's right there in the name, family. And then the whole idea behind the show is outsiders come. And that's kind of how it starts. So the way the family reacts to that, for me, that's what the show is. Kiri. How do you feel about about this show? Were you not a family fan growing up? Uh, did you did you oh, enjoy think, it and stuff? And I, I think any any child that was super weird growing up like had, had a bond. With Wait, the what, what is she family. saying about me? I don't know. <laughs> just, just just when you were growing up, right? Yeah. Yeah. Right, right. You know, you always just kind of you you heard how they talked about every aspect, and it's like it's okay to be weird. In fact, if you're normal, that's weird. <laughs> Um, so it's it's a lot of fun to be able to play kooky characters uh, such as anyone in the Adams family, um, but it's honestly like yeah I was a I was a big fan growing up. <laughs> no, and, and it makes perfect sense. And we do have some other actors in here. Do you guys want to come with us in Absolutely. here and introduce them? Who should we talk to first? Well, let's see. Fester's in here. Oh my gosh! And uh, so is Lurch. If you want to get some words out of Lurch, because you don't get a lot of those during the show. Uh, well, I guess <laughs> I guess we, we should try. So Lurch, uh, what is your name? Go to introduce yourself to everybody. Uh, Josh Pike. Josh, I'll sit down right next to you, man. Please don't stand up. Um, uh, let's talk about uh, the, the role of Lurch now. Now, Lurch is an iconic character in yeah. in all of television history yeah how, how are you bringing the the adaptation that we're used to seeing to your embodiment of lurch coming up here in the adams family the musical going on starting tomorrow the 25th all the way through november 10th here at the sierra vista community theater in the mall at sierra vista go ahead well lurch has been one of my favorite characters for a while um i honestly this is my first time doing any of this uh 
acting stuff. And really? So yes. is this your first show? This is my first oh, show. Congratulations. So Welcome to the club. I'm really leaning on my cast to help uh, help me with, with like those finer details and figuring out my character and stuff. Honestly, I just kind of, as any butler is, I just kind of stand in the corner and wait to be needed. Now, as someone who's coming in for, for the first time, what has that experience been like for you, for people who are maybe watching this thinking, you know, I, I want to act, I want to oh. I want to join this troupe or be a part of something like that. What has this experience been like it's for so, you? It's so fun. The people here are very welcoming, they're very, uh, they're very kind um, and uplifting. So, and when I started, I was, I was mortified, I was petrified. Um, just shaking in my boots because they're very good. Everybody yeah. in this in this ensemble is very good, and I felt like a little sort of kind of out of out of the water, if you will. I felt like like I, I couldn't do it, and they all just they're just so nice. It's it's nothing really. It's just been fun. Well, that's so cool. Well, congratulations on your first show, mm -hmm. and uh, uh, how are you feeling before the night before your very first performance here at the Zero Risk Community Theater? I'm a. I, I've been doing music for quite some time. I'm in a in a rock band, and I don't normally get nerves before a show. I get excited, yeah. and I mean, I I don't have to I don't have to worry that much because the cast behind me, as I said, is so strong that I, it's going to be amazing. Awesome. So I'm awesome. just ready to go. I'm excited for you, and I'll put the chair back because someone's going to be sitting in that chair starting tomorrow night here at the Sierra Vista Community Theater as we are in uh, the, the audience area. Uh, go ahead and introduce yourself to everybody. Uh, my name is Jordan Schaff, and I'm playing Fester in Adam's Family. Uh, Jordan, now uh, how many shows have you been in here at the Sierra Vista Community Theater? Oh, geez, I've lost count. I've, uh, I, over 10, way over 10. Isn't that amazing? I mean, uh, and, and do you remember when your first show was? Uh, with uh, with this theater, certainly. It was back in 2020. Uh, it was the second show this theater had ever done. It was called uh, Let Me a Tenor, and I was Max. It was incredible because it was my first ever starring role, like, ever. So wow. it, was, it, it was. it has been great to be with this theater for so long and to step back into a main role again as Fester. That's fantastic. Now, the musical aspect of this is something that's almost a little unique. Obviously, music is a, is a major part of the Addams Family. Their theme song yep. is, you know, one of the most iconic uh, theme songs of all time. Um, but uh, will, will you be doing uh, some solos and singing for this particular uh, show? Uh, yeah, I, I, I actually think I can say pretty certainly, I mean, uh, a lot of his are small, but Fester probably has some of the most singing attention uh, in the musical more than almost anybody else, I would think, except for maybe Wednesday and Gomez. Nice. Well, congratulations on that. Show number 10, man. That's two handfuls yep. right there. I mean, <laughs> that's you got to get you the, the X hat, you know, and uh, yep. have that for you. Uh, but looking forward to seeing you uh, here at the Sierra Vista Community Theater, the Adams Family. Oh, we got some, look at this, we got some other, <laughs> other cast members here. Go ahead and introduce yourself to everybody. Hi, I'm Jack Brush. I'm playing an ancestor. And? I'm Kyla Bittis, and I'm also playing an ancestor. Now, ancestors. What what kind of role does the ancestors, or do the ancestors, play in the Adams Family, the musical here at the Sierra Vista Community Theater, Jen? So the ancestors play like the ensemble role. So we're in the background a lot, but we also do a lot of uh, singing and acting and dancing. Uh, the ancestors, they're like the people in the Adams Family. Like they're you know they're ancestors. They died before and now they're coming to support their family in their time of need. Come to hang out. Yeah. So you use the word ensemble and that was a word that I believe Jeremy used uh, before we went live on the air. Talk to us about what it's like to be part of a cast that is a true ensemble. I think being a true ensemble means that everyone within the cast supports each other and is there to back each other up. Like we're all, we're literally all friends backstage. All the ancestors are really close. So it's really nice having just the ensemble as a whole, everyone to support each other, be like, good job, and just, you know, it's really nice, it's really, it's fun, and backstage is awesome, because there's not negative energy, basically, it's very nice, very positive. Now, how yes. many, I forgot to ask, how many shows uh, have, have you guys been in? Uh, so, I've been in quite a few shows, but this is my first show that I'm doing here at the Community Theater, okay. I'm so excited. That's awesome, well, yes. welcome to the club, and, and how many does this make for you? It's at least a few, right? <laughs> yeah, I think, I think so, I think... Maybe fifth or sixth or okay. something, I don't know. All right, well, that, that's a lot, and, and it's a lot of experience. You're able to draw on the experience of others being here on this stage, being able to, to find, find you know, ask questions of, of them as far as staging or position or anything like that goes? Yes, everyone is so helpful and just 
so talented. It's so crazy. <laughs> <laughs> they are. And you will watch this talent on display for you during the Adams Family, the musical, going on October 25th all the way through November 10th, right here at the Senior Vista Community Theater. Let's take a look at the staging here real quick before we go. We, we met... Uh, we met Gomez. It's time to meet Morticia here. Look at the way this is set up. This is a sneak peek, by the way, that you will see when you come in for opening weekend. Almost sold out. Almost. That means you got to go and get your tickets now. Uh, check out the website for all the details, uh, which is in the post description. Check out their Facebook page. Follow them on their social media platforms. That's the best way to help out any sort of business around our community, but especially the community theater here. Vanessa, go ahead and introduce yourself to everybody. Hi. I'm Vanessa Cole. I am playing Morticia. Oh my gosh! You know, one of the most iconic roles, and I can't believe he's not—he can't keep his hands off of you right now as we're talking. But we're not in character yet. You know, <laughs> yeah. it's fine. Uh, that, that's Our fine spouses too. wouldn't like that. <laughs> right? You know, it's like it's—that's uh, 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 your actors. It's fine. You know, you're, you're actors. This is what we expect when, when we not when we date it's people true. in the business. This is what happens. But Vanessa, talk about talk about this show. The the magic, the mystique, the the fun that is the Adams family, oh, and how it's adapted to the stage here at the Sierra Vista Community Theater. It's wild that it's a it's a on stage musical now, but really it, it translates so well. It has such a great vibe, and the music is wonderfully written, really fun. I just it's really great. I'm just keeping saying the same thing over and over, but there's a lot of magic, and we really make sure to magic it up even more a little bit. You know, everybody's going to be really surprised and get quite the treat when they show up. Now, unfortunately, he's not here to be able to talk about it, but that is the director. Oh, he Ethan is, is here. here. Oh, man, you he snuck in on me, man. Dude, Ethan, how are you, buddy? Now, now I was, I was going to say, I was going to brag that I got to be a part of the director selection yeah. process way back when, and you were literally on this stage a year ago. And, and pitching your idea for why you should be the director of this show. This has been a year in the making for you. And not to cut you off, Vanessa. I mean, you're, no. you're going to be great. You're going to be amazing. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> you're, you're awesome. I apologize. I apologize. But, but the director's here. Oh, my gosh. I'm ready for my close-up, Mr. DeMille. Um, but but thinking, thinking about, about being a year ago on this stage, pitching this show, it's finally here. It's finally here, man. man. Opening night tomorrow <laughs> night. How does it feel having this all come together? It's almost unbelievable. But it's believable. It's happening. I'm seeing it right here. And it looks so good. I couldn't have imagined it coming out the way it looks. And the cast loves it. And everyone's getting together to not just a great show, but a great experience. You know, all these happy people and all these good uh, good energies that we bring. And the audience, oh, the audience is going to love it. Well, without a doubt, like we said, opening weekend, almost sold out. Get your tickets now if you want to be a part of opening weekend. But looking looking at this cast, how was the casting process for this different? Because it's a musical Ooh. rather than just a quote-unquote normal uh, performance or production that the Sierra Vista Community Theater would put on. Yeah, that's correct. There is a lot uh, different that goes into a musical versus a normal stage show. Um, can they sing? Can they dance? How do they look standing next to each other? How do they look or sound singing next to each other. <laughs> um, it's, it's such a process and man, this was a hard one to cast. Uh, we had so many people come to auditions, uh, younger people, older people, people who love theater, people who've never done any theater. It was such a difficult cast. And once we finally got it all together, it's turned into this beautiful flower that I think I think it's become a dead flower with all the gothic vibes <laughs> and, and Adam's house uh, aesthetic, but it's, it's a very interesting experience working uh, as someone who's used to normal stage shows yeah. and then being thrown into what is essentially a Broadway musical. <laughs> literally. It literally is. Yes. I mean, that, that's where it comes from and what it's all about. And you know, for people who want to have that Broadway experience right here in Sierra Vista, no better place to do that than October 25th through November 10th, The Adams Family, the musical at the Sierra Vista Community Theater. All the details are in the post description. Of course, you got a great tech guy here. Jeremy, come on up, introduce yourself to everybody since you're here. Since you're here, you're the last one to talk to, so uh, be in here tonight. Introduce yourself to everybody. Hi, I'm Jeremy Heisner. I've been here for God forever. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I've been asking how many shows this is for you. It's easier to, uh, to, uh, easier to count shows you haven't been a part of uh, because that doesn't exist. So thinking, yeah. thinking about this show, uh, working the tech side, lights, sound. 
massive aspects to number one a musical yeah. and number two a Adam's Family style of event that needs all of those bells and whistles literally and figuratively to be able to put together yes. for a production like this. Yeah, so I, I am the lighting designer for the show but I'm running the soundboard so the mics and the music and all that. So it was funny how that all worked out. Um, but uh, yeah, no, it, it was uh, Ethan came to me and asked me to design the show and he was like I want this feel and this kind of thing. I'm like, all right, cool. And then I was trying to come up with ideas, and uh, now you see my idea. Uh, Gargoyles and footlights. It's all coming to life. And, uh, I mean, uh, now, now you can be honest. And nobody else is listening here. All the other you know, people, they're, they're in the room, but they're not listening. They're, they're talking amongst themselves. I mean, is, is this going to be one of the best shows? Yes. I mean, it, oh, yeah. it, it really is, right? It, it really is. Honestly, the cast is phenomenal. The... Um, the, the production team behind Ethan is phenomenal. Ethan did a wonderful job pulling all this together, too. Um, and it's, it's, it's really fun. It's really come together. I laugh every night. I've seen this like eight times already. And there's still little things that I'm just like catching, and it's wonderful. See, and that, I think that's a cool part about coming to the Sierra Vista Community Theater is that even if you see a show multiple times over the course of its run, you'll notice something different or something new every oh, single yeah. time as well. Especially with this cast, because they like to throw little tidbits in here and there, and we're just like, guys. <laughs> it's great. It's wonderful. They're, they're great. It is. You're going to have a wonderful time. And you can look forward to that wonderful time, because of all these people here in this room, as you see them here, uh, doing all... Oh, and, and, you know, I'm not saying it's, it's fine. Uh, you, guys, you guys are... Yeah, exactly. You stay, stay on your phone. Don't, don't, don't let us interrupt you. Hold my calls. Oh, you're watching it right now, live. As we're, as we're doing, oh sure, that's what you're doing. No, but again, it is a blast here. We always love coming to the Sierra Vista Community Theater. I'm, I'm proud of my, uh, of minor contributions that I've done, not on stage, not in tech, but just uh, in, in like the side things. I'm, I'm very fortunate. I'm, I'm blessed to, to have this as my theater family uh, here in Sierra Vista, and you will feel the exact same way when you come to the Adams Family, the musical, starting tomorrow night, opening night. The curtains will rise on Friday, October 25th. You will. Feel the spirit of Halloween coming through. Let me give them a little quiz right here. We'll go. Da -na -na -na. I didn't even. I didn't even quiz. I didn't even tell them I was going to do that, but they did it anyway. You can be a part of the creepy, the kooky, the mysterious, and spooky running it through November 10th. The Adams Family, the musical, here at the Sierra Vista Community Theater in the Mall at Sierra Vista. For all the details, check out the post description for their Facebook page. Please follow them on their social media, Facebook and Instagram, and check out their website to go get your tickets now because they're going quick. Especially with just a few seats left for opening weekend, you will want to have your tuchus in these lovely seats here to be a part of the fun. Thanks for watching this episode of Checking In with Jeff Davenport. Thanks for sharing this video around, tagging your friends that you want to come and see The Adams Family, the musical, uh, starting tomorrow night. My gosh. Tomorrow night, opening night. Are you guys excited about it? <laughs> We're excited about it. Thanks for sharing. Thanks for watching. Have a great night. We'll check in with you again later on. Woohoo!